and gentlemen, it is now time for the Royal Rumble! Welcome to a special edition of Outside the Ring, the Royal Rumble issue. Why are people complaining, though? I don't know. Yeah. Why are people complaining? Why, why are they complaining that Sheamus won? It's it's wrestling. People they'll never people, they'll never stop. Exactly. Com people complain that WWE is predictable. Probably somebody right now, Troy, is complaining about our 1992 Royal Rumble music <laughs> that we got playing right now. Why aren't you guys more hey, current? But we used the Fink, so we made up for it. That's right. I am uh, <laughs> the one, the only, Jason. Perfect. I didn't win last night, baby. Perfect. The final two, though. He was <laughs> alongside the one, the only, the guy that likes to drink beer. Make fun of Brodus Clay and throw batteries at John Cena. Troy, oh, I I would have I would take the take the camera right there, or take the battery right out of my camera. Just start throwing at him. Stone Cold Austin. <laughs> that that name serves you right. That last name of yours, Austin. Boy, oh boy, we are angry people. Yes, we are. Uh, I guess we'll get our our shameless plugs out of the way before we start this thing. Uh, outside the ring number or outside the ring one on Twitter. Our Facebook is outside the ring. And uh, YouTube, of course, right here. Troy, our email. Outside the ring 316 at gmail.com. Yep, and um, we're up on all those accounts. Uh, our last video went over 100-some views. That was cool. That was, Big ups to good. all you yes, guys. That's you know? still, not good, still not as good as what we have done before in the past. No. Come on, people. Come on, baby. <laughs> Hopefully this one goes over a million. Oh, yeah, right. So, considering in <laughs> we're two not, days. We're in, not Ray William Johnson here or right. and anything, anybody like that. I got a couple messages on Twitter if we're still recording an episode this week yes we are yes. we two are going to watch raw in about two an hour and a two half episodes this week yes two episodes unfortunately we cannot record tomorrow so it's probably yes, going to be it'll probably be up either, either wednesday, wednesday night, night or, or thursday. early thursday so we got you got to you guys got to let us get home and watch raw yeah <laughs> this is going to be a very short and show very too. brief We're, show uh, no headlines we're going to jump just straight into the meat and potatoes we're going to jump straight into the royal rumble yeah we got it we have literally i got about an hour to get home <laughs> so yeah. you have a little bit shorter drive, but I gotta yeah. get my butt home and watch Raw because hopefully it's gonna be good. Hopefully. But we'll talk about Raw next time. Hopefully Jericho will uh, talk. Cl clue again. us in on uh, you know what exactly he meant with uh, yeah. the, at the Royal Rumble. It will be the the beginning of the end of the world. Which as you nothing know it. happened. No. I, I, we're going to jump around here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> well, gonna... yeah, we can we could kind of take it in stride. I mean, okay, yeah. first on the card. Which blew me away was the World Heavyweight Title match. I kind of saw it coming. Daniel Bryan. Because they Big do this all the time. Daniel Bryan, Big Show, Mark Henry in a cage. And uh, we <laughs> actually story. had a problem. Funny story. Getting... Everybody comes to my house. I got yeah. 10, 11 people sitting in my living room. And right when Big Show walks out, it yeah. goes off. It, it, we're, we're sitting there, you know, it comes on, you know, uh, and now it's here the is the Royal Rumble. Yep. You know. It comes in, Cole King, Booker do their spiel. That was all fine. Daniel Bryan comes out, Mark yep. Henry comes out, Big yep. Show comes out, his pyro hits, he gets about halfway down to the ring, and it just Boop. blacks out. Black screen. <laughs> so I call Dish Network. <laughs> Big ups to Dish Network. And, um, you know... talk to You talk it, to, like, what, three people? I have no problem with Dish Network. The people there, they work hard and all that good stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, every, like every company, they have a couple of employees that don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. And every, I, every I get on. Has I, that. I get on with one woman in the morning uh, on Sunday, and she tells me, "Okay, you're all ordered. Whatever. I paid my fifty some bucks. Whatever." Because we is. had to have it in HD. Uh huh. Had to, had to see all the 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 the. I don't know where I'm going with that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, so that you know, I thought it was fine. Well, then we get that black screen. So I call again at like you know eight, little after eight o'clock, and like, hey, we're trying to watch the Rumble. What's going on? And we find out that. Uh, the, um, she she signed us up for the 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 encore presentation today, didn't and, she? Yep, yep. Which is today, right now on Monday. I said, why would why why would we want to watch that the day after? Really, dummy. So <laughs> I uh, basically tell the guy I'm going to give him a rock bottom, which I did say. <laughs> uh, I said, if, do, do you like the rock? He said, yeah. I said, well, I'm about to give somebody a rock bottom over there if you don't yeah, send a reach, signal. Reach through the phone, give you a rock bottom, boy. It, it was really bad. Yeah, because I was really upset. And, and I'm like, this and, is and, garbage. And you had to, just paid fifty bucks. You had to punch in like fifteen hundred numbers on between oh. each call to, 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 to talk to somebody that actually speaks the same language I do. <laughs> you have to hit twenty different 
uh, configurations on your phone to actually yeah. get somebody, like you said, on the phone, period. Yeah. Good luck. Other than that, it's just this. So we missed the first match, but we did watch the we replay. Watched, yeah, we watched the encore. Of the triple and it was it was actually a decent match. It was a, it was better than some of the other matches that we'll get to. <laughs> yeah. It was not bad. It, no, for a Big Show Mark Henry match, it wasn't bad. Big Show Mark Henry, and Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, and Bryan yeah. Um, other the the spot at the end was really cool. Daniel Bryan yeah, hanging just from Big hanging, Show's hand. Yeah. Number one, Big Show's strong. Number <laughs> like crazy strong. I, I'm really surprised Big Show was able to get up to the top of that cage. That, that was and that, I'm shocking. sorry, really surprised that the cage held. Yeah, he was almost 500 pounds on top of there. Daniel Bryan, basically, I thought he was going to do the, the <laughs> since they're turning him heel. I thought they were going to kind of do the coward heel thing yeah. where he's you know he's basically uh, crawling through the door, something yeah, like that. Yeah. But Really? I still think he didn't it, do that. I, I still think that it would. It, well, when the when the match went, w- was announced that it was going to go on first, I knew that how I wanted it to end wasn't going to happen. And the way right. I wanted it to end was like Big Show, Mark Henry, or you know, fighting, duking it out, whatever the crap. Out you of know, each Big other. Show tackles Henry through the cage right. over towards the ramp, so nobody in the crowd gets hurt. <laughs> you know, they're laying there on the cage, still haven't touched the floor. Daniel uh, Bryan just kind of gets up. Looks around, sees what happens. Beautiful. You know, just kind of crawls over there, crawls over Henry and Show, and just kind of flops on the floor and wins. That would be a hell of a bump, though, for Big Show or Henry. That would be. I mean, to, you figure if the cage broke, they'd have to land on the cage, like back first. Yeah. That would hurt like hell. Yeah. yeah. Although Big Mark Henry did Mark put Henry Big did. Show through it. Yeah. So, or they could have did the Stone Cold thing. Where Big Show picked up Stone Cold, threw him at the cage, and Stone and Cold got door, out. Yeah, and the cage door kind of. Yeah. You know, he could have picked up Daniel Bryan. They could have. They could have replayed the Stone Cold thing. You know, yep. tonight on Raw, the yep. same thing. Of well, course, you know that booking. happened more than three months ago. You can't. Oh, I'm you sorry. can't do that. <laughs> What's who's Stone Cold? Stone um, Cold, huh? <laughs> so what? Daniel Bryan's still your world champ. We figured that. Yeah, we I all figured. That. I figured that would happen too. Yeah. I, I I I enjoy him as the champion, but I hate how they're doing it with him. Whether how they're turning him into mm. like the, the cowardly heel. As long as he's it still the like champ and he's ev- a good worker, though, I don't mind. It seems like every heel in the company, besides Kane, uh, Undertaker when he was a heel, and Triple H are all cowardly heels. We have no heels that will well, stand up for themselves. Triple H for a little while when he was with like Evolution, he couldn't win a match clean ever. Yeah. He always had Flair or somebody jumping in the ring. Yeah. But when he was with like the game and he was beating Mick Foley, I mean clean. Yeah. So. Yeah. Although they just whatever. I mean, put to, Triple H they over. They need to build more uh, believable heels. Yeah, they 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 need to not have all of these, you know, chicken heels. Yeah, they have quite a few of those. They do. Actually, I mean, I like the Miz, but he's being billed as a chicken. Yeah, he is a big chicken. Daniel Bryan's being billed as a chicken. Yeah, Mark they, Henry is being billed the right way. Yes, he's I a, agree. He's a heel. Although if they made Mark Henry look like a chicken. Then they really got yeah. problems. I mean, yeah. how the hell that guy could beat anybody up? Yep. More than likely, if he could catch you. <laughs> yeah, really. But anyways, <laughs> unfortunately, we go from that to a uh, um, a very, very uh, crappy Divas match. Yeah, and uh, and it was uh, one of our... Eric Green. Yeah, on Facebook, he said, give me a legit reason why this Diva match happened. Yep. Here's your legit reason, Eric. They needed a time filler. That's it. That was it. We we all looked like that's when basically, unfortunately, yeah, that, that is, is a, when that our is, Dish Network signal came back a, on as during soon the as Beth's match. Music hit. Is we get when it, back. it came on, and I even yelled out at your house. We waited that long, and we come back to this crap. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was like, why? Exactly. Why? What, what, what did we do? do? What did we do to forsake you out of any segment? It went to that. So, uh, at least he didn't. This breathe. match. At least horrible. it didn't come in during the Brodus Clay. Do we match. need to comment on this? Well, we will do. Well, I'm going to say I, one uh, thing. There should have been a return in this match that happened during the Rumble. Yes, we're going to get to we'll that. We'll get to that no later. And uh, Beth actually beat Kelly cleanly. Yeah, you were calling for the. I was uh, calling roll up. Uh, yeah, I was calling for the Kelly Kelly bullcrap roll up on Beth. Didn't happen. Yeah, we were shocked. Kelly hasn't won in too many matches lately. She hasn't, and she's good. I, I know. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just saying the truth. She hasn't. The truth will set you free. Yeah. Um. So after that, we've. We, by the way, they are heavily promoting WrestleMania already. Yes. The Rock. They had a, a, a package for The Rock and a package for Cena. I thought both were really good. I thought yeah. they the way they are building I like it. The one with, I like it. Excuse me. Go ahead. I like the the package for The Rock better than Cena. And no, I'm not saying that just because I don't like Cena. I just think the one with The Rock was 
more was was done better. The way that they did the Cena one with the kids and stuff like that. It was I, nothing like Miz's WrestleMania promo from last year. No, but that I one, like that was the one of the no. greatest promos I've seen in a long time. I agree. I'm interested though. We all know that they're we we think that they're planning this Cena heel turn. Yeah. But the problem I think is going to be what like they're showing him as this ultimate good guy, yeah. like doing but, stuff for the but kids. But he's going to turn heel, right? So why the video package? I I'm like you said should have tr- been more just for the Rock because I, you want people to really love the Rock more yeah, than Cena. I'm guessing I, what they're trying to do is trying to squeeze that last little bit of money out of Cena's face. You think? Run. I or, do, or or they are they still on this thing? Where they're basically saying, hey, Cena's not a face or a heel. He's this guy that we've never seen before. I don't know. He's he's in between. Yeah. I mean, that video package did not help the Cena heel turn at all. No, 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 no. Um, It was good. It was good the way they did it, where they showed some people booing. I like the package, but it should have been done a year ago. It it also showed that uh, WWE is capitalizing on people not liking Cena. Yeah, they they showed the Cena, yeah. uh, Cena t-shirts, you know, it's got the, the red one, the orange one, you know, the green one. Did he have a green one? No, he had the like the John. I'm Deere thinking one. of fruity pebbles. Wait oh, a minute, well, there was a green fruity <laughs> pebble, maybe. But it shows that, and then amidst all of them is a "We Hate Cena" shirt. So WWE, they really are squeezing Cena for his for, for as much money as they can, even capitalizing on and people hating. I've him. said it millions of times. I guarantee you, Troy. I get right here. I guarantee you at 7:41 on Monday night. If they turn him heel, you He'll will see more, sell. and you will see more adults, grown yep. men, wearing Cena shirts. I bet you. I guarantee you. I don't know if you'll see him wearing the current ones, but if he, if was, he goes if, full-fledged if he heel, goes and he's, full-fledged heel and releases a heel t-shirt, people will buy it. Yep. And if he, dare I say, I don't think it's going to happen, but if he goes back to the rapper kind of ways he used to be, where it's anti-corporate, oh, people, will, corporate, love that. Well, people will buy it People up. will buy it, yeah. And eventually, I think that's the way he needs to end his career <laughs> anyways. Just like Undertaker and went on, back to the and, dead and, man. And, you know, you're talking about him ending his career. Um, if he doesn't slow down a bit, he will end it early. Yeah. He will work himself into an early grade. Yeah, that man works a I, lot. I, I, I applaud him for that, but, you him know, and John, the Miz, John, slow down. Him, Miz, and CM Punk, I think, are probably the three top workers right now in the yep. company. As far as... As far, out as, their as far as being on TV each and every week. They don't doing, sleep, dude. I know. Miz is everywhere in the media. Right. Cena does the Make-A-Wish stuff. He's everywhere in the media, Same too. Same with now Punk. He's the a punk, champ. It, yeah. They just, it, they, they're, they're out there sleep. every week. They're doing their job. They're busting their ass. Yep. I applaud all three of them. Yep. But you, you guys need to slow it down a bit. <laughs> slow your roll, homie. Slow your roll. <laughs> um, okay. Um, what was we on? We was on the Diva Suck. We know, crap. okay, Beth got over on Kelly. Yeah. And, then and then we we went to the Cena Kane match. Cena Kane, yep. This match was decent. This at match best. I was surprised at how how decent this match was. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it, was, it wasn't great. Yeah, I mean it, it wasn't was in it, the was, middle. it wasn't a squash match. No. Uh, nobody jobbed anybody. Nope. It was a decent back and forth. I'm with you on one point though that you made last night. It should have been no DQ. Yeah, because it ended with a count out. It was this, it was this, a double count out. It should match, have been no DQ. Uh, no DQ. Falls count anywhere. I honestly think it's leading towards a Hell in a Cell. Hmm. Really? Yeah. But they do have a Hell in a Cell pay per view in October. You yeah. think they'll uh, push it that far? Uh, I don't. That's know. That's the only thing that pay per view screws stuff like that up. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Well, I do know, and, and we're going to talk more about Raw, obviously, on Wednesday, but they did release the Elimination Chamber, uh, and I posted it on our Facebook. The The guys who was in the, the WWE title match, yeah. eliminate, Cena's not in it. He's not in the... No, it's uh, Punk defending the belt against Jericho, R-Truth, Kofi Kingston, for some odd reason, I know, Miz, and Ziggler. Cena is not in it. Wow. So I'm thinking maybe a Cena game... It might be... Uh, uh, well, because it, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be a cage match or hell in a cell because you can't have both. But of then them you could do the ring. Then I would do an inferno match or a no DQ. Uh, inferno match doesn't go with PG. How about no DQ? No, I'd say a no DQ falls count anywhere match. There you go. And it's like what I said last I'm night. I'm sick of last man standing. It's like what I said last night. If it's a last man standing, you know damn well Cena's going to win. <laughs> that, right. That's why you I have put it. Cena last man standing match. You might as well not even watch the damn right. thing. Right. So, um, but no, it's like what I said last night. Especially with Cena and Kane, since it's supposed to be like getting really, really heated now. Right. You open the pay-per-view with that match. 
Mm-hmm. They come out, they fight, they and it's a it's a, no DQ falls count anywhere. Mm-hmm. So you know they go to the back, whatever, and it just keeps going. Yeah. And the the announcers are like, well, we're getting word from the back that the well, fight's that, continuing. That the fight's continuing, but yeah. we've got other matches to get to. Yeah, you could even and, had Sheamus win the Rumble and then go to the the final thing between Cena and Kane, exactly. and that's how you could have went what, off the what air. What it should have done. It, I, I would like to see a match start at the beginning of the pay-per-view and go until the end of the I pay-per-view agree. with them checking up on I it agree. periodically throughout the night. But basically what happened was Cena and Kane beat the hell out of each other. No, it was a double count-out, and then they go to the backstage area. Kane beats the hell out of Cena with a chair, grabs Zack Ryder, he, he, who's he in a the, wheelchair. He does, he does the stinky glove to him. Yeah, he does the stinky <laughs> glove. Do that stinky yeah, glove. Yeah, Zack Ryder shows up earlier in a wheelchair with a yep. back brace on. With he's in his, pushing him. So he's in a locker room by yeah. himself. Kane kicks down the door yeah. after Cena's on the floor. Takes him, yeah, pushes him out to the he ring. Kicks, he kicks down the door. The look of oh crap on Ryder's face was priceless. My girlfriend, who's studying to be a doctor, did point out by the way, a guy with a broken back. Eve's pushing him in a wheelchair, and his leg hits the um, the door. If you notice, I don't care if you don't have a broken leg. If you got a broken back and you get knocked into a door, there's so much pain that goes. And anybody with a broken back or back problems will tell yeah. you. You even hitting your any, leg on a door at all is bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy was supposed to be out. Like you said it last night. He yeah, was supposed why? to be out for nine weeks. Yeah, I mean, with why a broken did he back. Come back. It was stupid. There's and no. They, there was no point for him to no. be there. I mean, so, like, what, what, what did he say he was there for? Just to show support guess, for Cena? I guess to watch uh, Cena kick Kane's kick Kane Kane's ass. That's how he said it too. By the way, Zack yeah. Ryder was uh, missing. He was stuttering. But it reminds me of the Dudley Boy. Yeah, he gets tombstoned by Kane. Even, Even though it, it, was a, it was a Linda McMahon-esque tombstone. His head was a good five inches off yeah. the ground. Um, Eve comes out. She's crying. Cena comes out and to, I will to give try it to, to beat Cena. down Kane. I will give it to Cena. One of your buddies said it last night. She's good with the crocodile tears. Yes, she is. She At least she made it look believable. She almost. did. She was good. And Cena just sat there. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what am I supposed to do? You can't see me. Uh, he reminds me of Lenny from Of Mice and Men. I Hello. didn't mean it, George. <laughs> no, 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 can't see me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like that's how that segment ended where Kane tombstones yeah, Ryder. And, uh, and, and then the EMTs that was it. come out. That was it. Eve is crying. They strap him to the board. Cena's sitting there. Haul him away. Cena's literally just sitting there. That was None, the last time we no, saw Cena. And Cena got... One hell of a choke slam too. Yeah, it was like a I mean, basketball he, dunk. He, he like lifted him it. up and he he threw Cena up higher than he could reach. I think Cena so jumped as, high as too. he was coming down. Kane's hand slid down to his chest and he just kind of forced he him down. He slammed him. Yeah. I, like I say, he like and I mean, slammed him. Nobody cared about Cena. No. I think one referee checked. They on were chanting Cena. "Cena sucks" as he was down. Yeah, they weren't chanting, you know, "Let's go, Ryder" or anything like that, showing support for. It was all Cena. Ryder. It was all anti-Cena. I think people are starting to realize that yes, they're using the situation, Jack Ryder. I think there's uh, no. Well, that they're too, using his popularity that he had to try to get Cena back over. That, and I think they're starting to realize that. Of course, this is storyline wise. I think they're starting to realize that yes, what happened to Ryder is Cena's fault. Yep. Not to mention, they dropped the ball with Zack Ryder. Yeah. Ever since he won the belt, they like you pointed out two weeks ago, this kid, and I kind of feel bad for him, the way they're using him with Eve yeah. and making him look like an idiot. I mean, granted, he was an internet darling. Yep. He got the title. I think he should have got the title at Mania. I, I think they should have pushed it and pushed yeah. it and pushed it. Because now, nobody cares about he, him. He, well, nobody uh, really yeah. cares about him. I would him. say he might get it back at WrestleMania, but in, by by all rules of logic, he shouldn't even be back for the next exactly. two WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels was out for four years with a bad back. Do the math. Um, so after and that, Ryder came back after, what, a week? Yeah, a week. <laughs> um, so hopefully he's and not on And then after raw. that what, was um, probably the lowest him? point in the night. Oh, gosh. So Drew McIntyre comes out. Yeah, We're thinking, all, who's thinking, he going to play? First you know, of all, I'm thinking, I hear his music hit. I'm like, holy crap, Drew McIntyre yeah. on a pay-per-view? We were shocked. I'm so, and uh, kudos to Drew for getting that big payday at the well, Rumble, shoot. too. Shoot. We were shocked. We're, we're <laughs> thinking, we were thinking Sheamus. I was thinking Sheamus because, you know, they, had a, they, fought, they fought on SmackDown. Smackdown. They got a little thing And I don't going. know what it is, but apparently on, like, Superstars mm-hmm. or NXT or something, yeah. uh, Teddy Long is basically telling Drew McIntyre, you know, shape up or ship out. Yeah. Hey, player. He, he's not winning matches. No. And basically, Teddy wants him to get better, but he keeps putting him up against guys like Sheamus, like Big Show, Mark Henry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Hey, Drew, I want you to win matches, so I'm going to put you up against these behemoths. 
And what? There you go. You yeah, said the yeah, word yeah, yeah. Behemoth, behemoth, and that's who we got. We got We've the got Funkasaurus, uh-huh. your favorite wrestler. And I told you last night. Oh, By the way, this God. is when we started drinking. Yeah. <laughs> This, yeah. The Funkasaurus. I was the first one to start drinking. Brodus Clay. Oh, my God. He comes out, flapping his, you know, flapping his big old bigot titties flapping all, over man the place. all over the man place. Man boobies. All over the place. And this was stupid. It was a squash. By the way, the, the best part of the whole thing, if there was a saving grace in this whole match, Drew McIntyre, and I missed it, but I caught it on the replay. I was getting beer <laughs> as, <laughs> as the Funkasaurus was coming out. Ugh. McIntyre says McIntyre even yeah I remember he that now. says it, what we have been saying for the past three weeks he says why do you, are you guys taking you know in his accent yeah. why are you guys taking this guy seriously are you he, serious yes why are you taking this guy seriously he's a joke to my business that's what he said he's a joke to the sport I love something like that yeah he he said what people a lot of a us lot of people have are said are thinking yeah but we don't have to really say much. It wasn't a match. It, it was a it squash. Wasn't. It lasted, what, three minutes? I don't even think that. that. Two. You Two know, minutes. Drew got a little bit of offense in. Not much. Brodus Clay did his thing in the corner. He grabbed him for the suplex and then loudly calls out, Suplex! Then <laughs> does it. Stupid! And the only part that made me laugh of the whole thing is Booker T going, Oh, he's got the pterodactyl dog! He's doing a pterodactyl! <laughs> he's calling the... D- <laughs> Booker T is so bad, he's funny, though. I it love is. Booker T. Um, but yeah, and then he saved you know, that he, segment. He did the 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 suplex. The suplex. Sorry, I got to yeah. do it the right way. I mean, he, I he understand that. that his he, thing, he does that. He but... hits the, he hits the ropes. Hits the the flying Brodus Clay body lobbing thing. The quote unquote crossbody. And now he, his new tights. By just, the way, he just flops himself yeah. on you. His new tights. If you notice, were, uh, my buddy pointed it out. It's the Jurassic Park logo. Yeah, which is. Yeah, it says he needs on, to go back to Jurassic on, Park. On his flabby funkin' ass, it says <laughs> Jurassic Park. It doesn't say Jurassic Park, but it's the it's the same logo. Oh but Lord! But it says Funkasaurus. It's even got the the Tyrannosaurus on it. Next segment. It's so stupid. Drew um, loses. They make him look like crap. This did not need to be on freaking pay per view. Then, like I, we yeah. didn't spend fifty five dollars on no. it to see Brodus Clay squash no. somebody of superior talent. No. Next match. <laughs> <laughs> um. We get more WrestleMania plug. WrestleMania is like 80 days away. Something like that. Can't wait. I know we've got one pay-per-view until then, and that's, and that's Elimination, Elimination Chamber, Chamber. But they always do this at the Rumble. They start pumping you up, yep. as well they should. They yep. want a big payday. Well, yeah. It, big it, main it, event And they year. even said it before, like, during the opening of the show. You know, the road yeah. to WrestleMania begins now, and yep. then the show hits. Yep. Um, it was Punk and Ziggler. Best match of the night. Best match of the night, yeah. Um, not and, not and, the greatest match that they've had. No. I thought the one on Raw that they had a few weeks back yeah. were, was better. Yeah, I really did. And um, you know, it. I I partially blame Johnny Ace. I do. T- here's why: it, not just because he was doing the heel thing, but because every time he wouldn't count, it, it kind of the match kind of lost its the match velocity. Down. You don't see what yeah, I'm it, saying? It, it slowed down. That's why I think people might say, "Oh, this match sucked because it was slow at the end." No, it wasn't. If you watch it, the match, I saw it on the replay again. It was a good match. Yeah, a lot of reversals, a lot of um, high impact moves from both guys. The, the go to sleep that Punk hit on Ziggler, I think oh my the God. two Dude, of them were great. Like I said Sold last that night, man like a boss. Like I said last night, Ziggler leans in to yes. almost every kick to the head that he takes. Every kick to the I head, know every boot to the there skull. There was one back when when Caval was still in the company. He kicked him, splattered his nose on his face. <sighs> yeah, I remember Dolph, that. Dolph is a trooper for taking that stuff. He's crazy. He is. Um, but hey, I love hey, it. Hey, that. But that just shows you he wants people to make it, th- make them think it's real, make yeah. it look good. Yeah. Even that, if that means bodily harm. That go to sleep. That first one. Oh, I that was, was oh. nasty. Um, oh, dude, speaking of nasty stuff, we'll wait until later till we get oh, into the actual rumble. <laughs> oh God, yes. Um, so the end of the match comes where Punk basically beats Ziggler three times. Three but times. The referee but, is yeah. unconscious. What, now, uh, go ahead. What was explain. it? What was it? Um, he, he wanted picks, to be partial. He, he pi- well, Laurinaitis wanted to be partial. He did not Laurinaitis want to ref. wanted to be partial. He did not want to be the, the main referee. So he brings so out he brings this out, dude. Yeah, this this other ref. And like you said, I thought I he was a screw job. Thought coming. that that one that referee was. Crooked. It was the same thing with Hogan and Rock when Rock was heel. Yeah, the Montreal referee, which yeah. was a guy from La Resistance. Yeah, he screwed Hogan. Yep. So I'm thinking same thing. Yep. This guy I've never seen the ref before. But and, uh, no, he he the, called the, the match. The ref that Laurinaitis brought out was was straight. Mm-hmm. But uh, Laurinaitis, of course, 
wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Ref um, gets knocked out. Yeah, what, you, what was that where... Um, well, when the ref got knocked out, Punk uh, had the Anaconda Vice on him. Yeah. On, on and, uh, Ziggler. And, and he was tapping He was out. tapping. No and, dice. And, uh... Because Lor- Laurinaitis is checking on him. Yeah, Laurinaitis was... No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laurinaitis mm-hmm. was checking on the ref. And... Ziggler was tapping out like a madman, you know. And second and time it was a roll up. Second time was a roll up. Third time it was the GTS. All three times he had a three count. Yeah, he had more than a three count. And then there was a, at one point, um, Punk picks Ziggler up for the GTS, spins him around. Beautiful counter. Clocks. No, 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 no. This wasn't the counter. Oh no. He picks Ziggler. Uh, or, oh yes. He, he he turns Ziggler around and nails uh, Laurinaitis in the back of the head. Who's still standing on the yeah. outside of the ring? So it didn't no, hurt no, him he, that he bad. He was in the ring at that time. Right, but he goes to the outside. Yeah, and then he rolls out of the ring and he's like, "What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Switch <Jeez>. Campbell's. <laughs> Pack of cigarettes. You smash my smokes, man. Yeah. So things are cheap. So at the end of but, the match, we'll talk about the, Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. It, and it, there was a spot where Punk lifts up. Ziggler for again. the GTS again. Ziggler jumps higher and counters with, with the famous the famouser. Beautiful it counter. It was a good I've never seen the GTS Beautiful. Counter. And the end of the match came when Punk hits the GTS. The the other referee that Laura Knight has brought out is back up. Mm-hmm. And he hits the GTS. He goes to pin him. And the ref counts one. Laurinaitis slides in the ring. Yep. And they both count two. At and that then, point, the other referee looks at Laurinaitis like, what the hell are you doing in here? And they both count and they three. And they both count three. And we know and, why that is. Yeah, it's He's, because Laurinaitis is sucking up to Triple H right now, who, saying, oh, look, I was fair and impartial. Exactly. I was fair and impartial. Exactly. Which I really think Laurinaitis is, Laurinaitis is either going to be outright fired tonight or, pedigree. or he is going to be put on, like, you remember in like uh, Animal House, the like double secret probation? Yes. <laughs> I still like, I don't know if you said it or somebody said, Triple H should give him the thumbs up and thumbs down. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I said, bring Batista Why? back, have him put Lauren <laughs> Ice up on his shoulders. Triple H give him the thumbs up and then just... <laughs> That would be funny. Hey Dave, you want to come back for a spot? We'll pay you like twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> we'll pay you twenty grand just to just, do this. Just to dump Laurinaitis. You know it'd be one of the best moments of the year. Oh yeah. <laughs> Even if it was like two seconds. Um At two Laurinaitis. <laughs> Randy's coming out. Wait a minute, this looks familiar. <laughs> Don't do it. Randy's sitting in the back going, huh. <laughs> Where have I seen that before? Nostalgia. Oh. <laughs> um But anyways, yes, that was match of the night. And before the match, match too, Laurinaitis again trying to suck up to Triple H. Laurinaitis threw Vicky out uh, Which uh, we were all happy inside. about. Yeah. She looking nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a bathing suit or whatever Ugh. the hell she was wearing. Yeah. Um Ugh. good match. Yeah, Great very match. Good match. Match of the night. Royal Rumble. Yes. Obviously, we're not going to tell you everybody that came yeah, in. I, I've seen the. I, I can tell you this. Um, Cody Rhodes threw out the most. He, he threw out six. Wow. Second um, was actually Big Show. Big yeah. Show went on a roll when he came yeah. in. He threw out yeah. like four. <laughs> Before Big Show came in, though. Do you right, remember that? Right. With, with Swagger? Big Show, last <laughs> guy, which we'll talk about. Big Show was number 30, which yeah, we which, all thought which, was a waste. I, There's a it, ton of wasted yeah, there, spots in this Rumble. Yeah. The, 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 the quote-unquote surprise entrance, there was only like maybe three of them that were Swagger worth Swagger must be... <laughs> Swagger must be taking lessons from Dolph. How you say yeah. Dolph takes things way Dolph too. Dolph leans he into the, kicks. Leans into Ziggler. <laughs> or, I'm, I'm sorry. Swagger. Swagger leaned in to a to one of the frying pan to the WMD because Big Show. He didn't pull it either. No. He, Big, uh, at, when Big Show <laughs> came out, I know we're skipping ahead, but when Big Show came out at number thirty, Swagger was on the apron. He had been thrown over the rope, and he was on the apron. Yeah. Big Show came out, just grabbed Swagger by the waistband, and just pulled him off. Yep. Swagger gets up, shoves Big Show, and just basically says, what the hell was that? We know what's coming. And Big Show just hauls off and just crack right in the jaw. They show a replay. And you just see Jack Swagger's (laughs) jaw move about two inches to the right. I'm thinking that lisp is healed. Yeah. Heal my brother. Either that or, like I said, either the lisp is healed or he's going to come out talking like little Nicky on (laughs) Monday tonight. That would be funny. I I had a lisp, but now I sound even worse because of Big Show. (laughs) (laughs) Victor's got to Victor's got to come out, hit him with the other hand, and knock him back the oh, right way. Oh, it's back. <laughs> oh, but okay. It, Anyways, um, so yeah, Cody Rhodes Rumble, eliminated numbers. He's six. Rumble so. was all right. It was. I was disappointed in a lot of ways. I, I was disappointed, but it was still the Royal Rumble. I mean, just it, right there, it holds merit to be the, at least all right. The best part of the Royal Rumble was Ricardo. 
Yes, Ricardo Rodriguez. You know, we're. I think I, he was like number eight. Eight. It was number eight. Yeah. You know, we're sitting there, and of course, you know, every everybody does. I don't care who you are. Right. You're like, who's you know, next? you know, no, no. Well, not only that, but you know, you hear that ten second countdown hit, and then even if you're by yourself, you're thinking, who it's going to be. Right. And people. That's why the rumble's so good. Yeah. Because you're always you're running through your head like, okay, who is it? Who who could it be? Then you know it might take you to that last second to where you know yeah you, you play a game with yourself yeah you're trying to figure out who it is yeah and then you know because people at, at, at last night were saying all uh, you know oh, Kane Cena blah, yeah blah. we were just guessing it, it, nobody was guessing Del Rio nobody then we heard Del Rio's music hit and we were like ah it's him and Del Rio's sudden, back then all of a sudden this beat up crappy BMW comes out I lost they get, it they get a shot on the side and it's freaking Ricardo Rodriguez in in Alberto gear in Alberto in Alberto's wrestling gear with a, a torn up raggedy old scarf <laughs> Was beautiful. It, it was mean, a this great car segment. was awful. It had one headlight. Yeah, it was like a 1980 something BMW. It was it, a bad it, looking it car. One headlight. Uh, the 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 rear view the, the side view mirror was, was on had held on with duct tape. There was a bandana in the gas tank, which I didn't get. It was complete. They made that it car was, look like crap. It was great though. It was the best part of the entire rumble. It was. It was I, funny as hell. It was. It was awesome. Uh, he even eliminated Justin Gabriel. Yeah, help with McFoley. With McFoley's help, yeah. I, and there we go. I mean, we're gonna jump around. This yeah, we're rumble. gonna jump around because we can't Foley, remember. We yeah, can't. It, was, it was all over an hour. We can't remember from beginning. Foley, to end. I told Foley you last was in night. Too early. He was in too early. He should have fought Dolph, who yeah. came in later. Yeah, because of their segment that they yeah. had. Well, I think the reason they did that is because you know they wanted to give Dolph a breather. Total waste of use. Of Mick, of Mick Foley, yeah. Mick Foley you have and the come, Cobra. You have him come uh, in and do some crap with Santino. With Sacco against Cobra. And you called him before they even cares? did it. It was stupid. It was absolutely Sacco ridiculous wins. booking. Sacco wins, end of story. It was hideous <laughs> booking. Um, uh, your surprise entrance. Surprise uh, I think that's where people um, want to know. Let's see. Uh, we had... Ricardo was could be considered a surprise entry. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. There was a waste. Um, uh, let's save the three good, let's commentators. Save, let's save the good ones. Okay. Again. Yeah, three, three commentators. Jerry Lawler's music hits, and this is what made me. We th- laughed. We thought we, that was. Funny. We laughed. Yeah, but this is what made me think. You know, Lawler's music hits. He gets in. He stands up. He's got his wrestling gear on, and I'm thinking, you know, Colin Booker T did not see that, like, that he wasn't wearing, wearing, like, pants? actual pants. Like, if I why wasn't wearing you... pants right now in the studio, wouldn't you be like, hey, Jason, where's your pants? Yeah. I mean, you could see legs. Exactly. And, oh, <laughs> but it was worse with Booker T. Yes. His music hits. He's literally not wearing he's any got his, he's, pants. He's got, right. he's got his wrestling trunks on. Can you smell it? So good. <laughs> so good. No, he's wearing his boots, his knee pads, and his wrestling trunks. Right. How do you not notice Mahler's that? Mahler's got sitting, the singlet at yeah, least. How do you not notice that when you're sitting next to the man for damn near three hours? Right. Beautiful. But I called it. As soon as Lawler went in, I said, I said Booker's going in, and then you, I think it was then you, I said, Michael then Cole. Then I said Cole's going in, and he did. All three of them went in. All three of them went in, and all three of them went out fairly quick, too. Um, I thought one of the... A good was surprise it Book- Did Booker eliminate Cody? Or are they no? They, Cody are, lasted a long time. Are they time. done with the Booker yeah. and Cody thing? Cody, man? Cody lasted a while. Cody got eliminated by either Orton or Sheamus. Yeah, it was at the end or Big Show. Might have been Big Show. Might have been. I don't know. Um, but basically, what happened? Uh, Michael Cole's in the ring, and one of the surprise entrants comes out. Oh, Ooh, this was beautiful. Karma. Karma comes but back. again. Making her the third ever woman to yep. compete in the Royal Rumble. Use that too loosely. Woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, karma should have been used in that Divas match. You, but you you saw it. You, when, when her music first hit, I thought it was Boogeyman. Cause her, yeah, cause yeah. The, the, the very beginning of their music sounded very much alike. It was. But and I, the look on Cole's face when Karma came in was priceless. It was great. And she, she whooped ass. She whooped ass. She gave Dolph the implant buster. Yeah. He took which, it like a yeah, champ. Yeah, he took that like a champ. Like a boss. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> but but it was it was good. That was it cool. Was. Um, what, what was it? Okay, we had... Uh, the surprise entrance is, like I said, we can count Rodriguez, the three commentators, Karma. There was save that there was, big one for last. Yeah, um, I think that was about it. That's why I was very disappointed because a lot yeah. of the spots were taken up by the Usos oh, yeah. the, and Hunico, the uh, great Kali. Oh, there back. you go. There you go. Why? 
I heard earlier in the week, and we said it last week, that MVP, MVP didn't see I would Hyde, take MVP Hyde in a heartbeat. did not see Hyde nor hair of MVP. No MVP. Instead, we got the great friggin' Collie. I'm not a big fan of his anymore. I would have took Rob Van Dam over great uh, Collie. I would have took... I would have took... Here's somebody that could have did the million dollar man, Arn yeah, Anderson, even for like a little just nostalgia. Nostalgic, yeah. Dusty Rhodes. I told you when Cody was in there, they should have had Dusty come out or Gold Dust. Oh, speaking of things like that, um, the first three entrants, you know, first we knew was Miz, second was Alex Riley, yep, which was one of Miz's and partners, and we knew it was three. And the third one was our truth. We knew it. And if Morrison was on the roster, if Morrison even was on, four, yeah, they would have done that. They would have done that. It was it was all Miz and Miz lasted by the way the longest in the rumble. He did last the longest. So I was right about that. I won money on that. <laughs> I actually <laughs> predicted that. I was wrong about Sheamus eliminating a lot, but yeah, I was wrong about Jericho but, winning. I, I'm 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 not upset. I'm just confused, which we'll get to. Yeah, um, and uh, the big return. It wasn't even really. It was a, a one night deal, a one night only deal. Oh, you know the road dog Jesse James You're came asking back. The Somebody, I'm bald. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He has no hair anymore. No dreadlocks. He's just got his teeth. I'm yeah, like Howard I'm Finkel. Like, I'm like the Fink. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Road Dog comes out. Yep. You know, big pop when he comes out, and we were thinking, okay, Road Dog's here. The next one has to be Billy Gunn. Oh, we didn't would have see, marked out like didn't crazy. Didn't see anything with that Billy Gunn. Sucked. That, that I just said, crazy. please not X Pac. Please not. Yeah. X-Pac. Please. I hope Triple H still hates X Pac. But um, um, yeah, uh, he comes out. He does his whole thing. He does his, you know. The, the shake, rattle, and roll punches. He does the... the you know, Crow with the You Still Got It champ. Yeah. The road the, dog. He did the shaky leg knee drop. Yeah, they get, they get, he eliminated a, at least one person. I know that. Yeah, he eliminated he, one person. Yeah, the crowd still was was doing the You Still Got It chant. And he good. did still have it. It was good. Yeah, he 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 was he did still have it. Um, I thought that was. And I don't remember coolest. who eliminated. Other than R- Ricardo, that was the only two things. <laughs> I don't that remember really who eliminated me. the Road Dog, but I remember that when it Wade when Barrett. It, Wade Barrett eliminated him, and I remember that when when it did happen. I remember I looked at. I think it was at you, and I said, "Dude, he needs to be careful with him. He's pushing 50. Yes, yes. <laughs> Wade Barrett like just chucked him over yeah. the top rope. It was ridiculous, but yeah, then it. Uh, that was basically all there was there to was, say about There was a very Rumble. lackluster runner world. Uh, I was shocked at how lackluster this it was. was. They said that anybody I mean, could I've enter seen, it. I mean, I've seen worse Royal Rumble. But I've seen but, way better. Yo, definitely. I'll even put last year's ahead of this one. Yeah. With... With um with Booker T and Diesel coming back, Booker T and Diesel coming back, I I, I thought mean, that was again, better. I'm surprised those two entrances alone were I, awesome. I'm surprised that The Rock didn't make a showing. Yeah. Um, you said you you would have liked to have seen Triple H. Just for even if Triple H came out at thirty, that would have been better than yeah. Big Show because nobody show. was expecting Triple that H. That was a waste of a number thirty. Had spot. Triple H come out and yeah and lose, who cares? He could have been in the final four and then got knocked out. Yeah. And then he could have came out tonight on Raw and said, "Hey." I had a try. You know, Triple I mean, H is it, a funny it, guy. He could have said something like, hey, it, you know. And like I said, it was a waste of a number 30 spot. Yeah. Because Big Show, I mean, it was like, Look eh. at the number 30s you've had before. John Cena coming back from injury. Whether uh, you hate I'm Cena or sure not, that was a under, shocker. Undertaker has made his return at number 30 yep. before. Yep. Edge, no, Edge was not. Edge was like a little before Edge was 30. like 27. That was a big one, though. Like, yeah, that was a big one. So... 27 goes along with the the whole thing with the promo that they did of 27 has produced the most Royal Rumble yeah, see, winners. Yeah, that's why. So I hate that your promo, final by the way. four, yes, Orton comes out. He gets a huge, probably will pop of the night. Pop, a yeah. huge pop. Final four um, was Orton, Jericho, Cody, and Big Show. Was that it? No, Sheamus, Sheamus and Big, and Big Show. Show. Yes, it was Jericho, <laughs> Sheamus, Jericho, and, yeah. Sheamus and Orton, basically. Yeah, and um. You know, I th- th- it didn't last four. Four the four didn't last long. And I no. said we said last week we were banking on Jericho. We were banking, and Orton. It was Jericho. So and Orton if we had money on this, we're like, yeah, buddy, because we saw Orton, we saw Jericho in the ring. Yep. And if you would ask anybody last night, out of those four guys who take two, you would have said Orton and Orton Jericho. And Jericho. Nope. No. Orton. Nope. Orton goes to throw Big Show out, which is a bad thing to do by yourself. Right. Jericho comes up and dumps both of them out. Right. So we're left with the final two being Jericho and Sheamus. Beautiful. And we're gonna get to we're gonna get to a sore people. People are upset. People are upset with the winner. It, yeah. 
people it are went upset back and forth. Oh, it was a beautiful final. It was too. great. They, I mean, they they did it. If you saw the Undertaker Shawn Michaels yeah. one, it was like that. I mean, where they went back guy and forth. Would, you know, Jericho hit the lion's for like ten minutes. Jericho hit the code breaker. Yeah. Sheamus tries for the bro kick. Tries for the the high cross. It was like another match. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful match, and it ended with uh, a bro kick. A bro with Jericho being thrown to the apron. Yep. And Sheamus broke kicking him out of the ring. And your winner of the Royal Rumble is Sheamus. Sheamus. I, I would, and I and I said maybe we were the only two in that house of people that were fine with it. Yeah, everybody else everybody there was, was just was just like, oh, that's messed up. The I think it was your roommate that said, well, that yeah. basically ruined the Royal Rumble. This is horse crap. I mean, come on. I, mean, I don't think. I think the Rumble was ruined for more than that. Yeah, I had no. I took it for what it was worth. It like wasn't you mentioned, that good of a rumble to begin with. No, and I mean, yes, I was expecting Jericho to win, but we I'm picked not. Him. I'm not mad that he lost. I am so. I'm just confused because of his promo but, last Monday. But that's why you're gonna watch. In that's about why an hour. in about an hour, yeah. That's why, and I said it last night, and you said it today, and I was thinking the same thing on the way to work before we did the show. I said, you know what? If if Sheamus would have if Sheamus would have got thrown over the top, somebody in Jericho won, they would have said, "Well, why did Jericho win? He he's got well, nothing yeah, to prove." Why did Jericho win? Sheamus oh, should have won. That, he's a new guy. That's so predictable. That's so predictable. But they predictable. do something that wasn't predicted, and, and you people are. I'm not okay. I won't say you people because it's not everybody out there, but people are still mad about it. Yeah, I don't understand. People it. are just I, hypocritical about this stuff. He if 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 for every year you could almost pick like. I picked Alberto last year. I knew he was going to win. Yeah, I mean, why? You probably did, saying, you, you probably didn't expect Santino to be the no, other one. No, and I would have. Then I would have flipped. Oh God! But but Sheamus is a proven guy. He's, he's been champion before. Don't tell me he's not over. He's, he's over. He's over. He got a pop last night. Not as big as Orton yeah. or Jericho, yeah. but it was big. Yeah, and. I have no problem, dude. I got no. I got no beef with him winning. Now, granted, I'm, like I'm, you again, said, like I said, I'm just confused about what was the whole thing we, with Jericho last week. Two things. That what what is Jericho the the end of the world as you know it? Nothing happened. Nothing. Fireworks. And we were nothing. thinking, okay, something's gonna happen afterwards. You know, Undertaker's gonna come out. Jericho's gonna say something. Nothing. And two, Sheamus got does up he on go the, after Daniel Bryan? He's not going to go after Punk, I don't no, think. No, 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 no. This is what I think might I happen. I still think they're going to go with Jericho Punk at Mania. I think on the Raw side, on the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, I would not be shocked, and I know I don't want to see this, Daniel Bryan might lose, and Sheamus could feud maybe with Wade Barrett at Mania for he the could. world title. He maybe could. Wade Barrett is going to win. The, you never know. I would, I Wade would think Barrett is he'll be in the about, Elimination Chamber. There. He'll be in the Elimination Chamber. Oh, yeah. I, it hasn't been... Said yet, but probably yeah. tonight on our SmackDown tapings tomorrow, we'll yeah. find out yeah. that Wade Barrett's going to be in that match. Yep. Hey, yeah, we'll actually have the SmackDown tapings to yeah. to, to report on tomorrow but or uh, I, on Wednesday too. I'm interested to see where they go with Sheamus. I, yes, he, he'll definitely. probably be on Raw tonight. He'll probably do something. Yeah. Um. Oh, he'll probably open the show. Yeah. I think it'll be. I th- he'll either open the show or, relax. or Cena will open the show. People need to relax. Yes. Cena and we said it. You know, you, Cena wasn't you, in the Rumble, so we, Cena was not forced down our throat. No. Other than the fact that they were promoting, oh, they were promoting the Rock and Cena. That who cares? They've been doing that for the past almost year. Get over it. They, they, people in wrestling, and I love the sport, but people are never happy. Dude. No. They're never, never freaking ever, ever, happy. Ever. No, but you. Can, and this brings the old adage, you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people all the time. Because there will always if, be somebody out there Brodus that will complain. If Clay would have won the Rumble, I would have been legitimately mad because he didn't earn it. But if a guy like been, Sheamus has I'm, worked if hard he and been earned it. In the Rumble, that would have been another wasted spot. Sheamus earned it. Yeah, I get no. Sheamus, if Wade Barrett would have won, I guarantee you a bunch of people would have been like, "That sucked." I would have been happy with it. You're putting over guys like Wade Barrett, yeah, Sheamus. Putting, Look at the young guys I mean, around the belt right I now. I would have loved to have seen Jericho, but again, me too. Like people have said, Jericho really didn't need it. He and has established himself. Not to mention. If he wants a title shot, he'll go get it. And what did I tell you last night right when Sheamus won? He wanted to put over Sheamus. Yep. If 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 Jericho, is, he gets Jer- it. Jer- He's is, smart. Jericho is just like He's Kane. younger. Exactly. Jericho is just like yep. Kane, except for Kane in this reincarnation. He <laughs> wants to help put the younger guys over. Yeah. And even if you want to look at it, 
Kane kind of is helping put Cena over yeah. as a heel. Yeah, exactly. But so, we're running a little short on time. We're going to wrap it up with uh, shorter. We'll wrap it up with Seamus' music. It's a shameful thing. There you go. And um, <laughs> it's a shameful thing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, overall, I give it a three point or I, I I'll say a three, a, a, a solid three, three out of yeah. five. I mean, it, it was all right. If it you didn't have the pumped honestly, off match, honestly, I would have given it a two. Honestly, the, the 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 two Raws before the Rumble were better than the Rumble. I agree. I, I think Raw, like I told you, with Triple H coming back tonight. Yep. Um, with Jericho probably doing something with mm-hmm. Punk, probably maybe starting to plant those seeds. Yeah. And the whole Cena thing, getting ready for The Rock. Yep. Raw's going to be good from here to WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Remember, I... um, anything else? Um, anything else we got to hit on with the Rumble? I mean, we're going to focus yeah, mainly on that's Raw. About, that's about it. Yeah. Remember, we're not taping an episode tomorrow, not so tomorrow. probably Wednesday night, Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. morning, afternoon, something like that. It'll be up. It'll be a full show, even yep. though this went 45 minutes. <laughs> it's still about a full show. It's a little yeah. shorter. And of course, we get rolling on things, and that's how it goes. I know. <laughs> so yeah, Royal Rumble, eh, middle of the road from yeah. us here at OTR. So for Jason, Murphy! yeah, baby, am I talking to that baby? I don't know. <laughs> Murphy. Alongside the one, the only. God, please. No Brodus Clay tonight. We're going to oh see him God. anyways. Hide your eyes. Troy, still no, cold. I don't want Brodus Clay. Austin. <laughs> he jiggles too much. I've seen Jello jiggle less than him. We'll see you uh, probably Thursday, Wednesday night on another edition of Outside the Ring. Deuces.